Why, hello there. My name is Freckress, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Y'all know this game. Everybody's playing it. Uh, I haven't watched anybody play it because I like to scare myself shitless just for you. Just for you. So, I really don't think it needs more of an introduction than that, so here we go. Faz Bears Fright the Horror Attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready for. Uh, wow. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on unsolved mysteries. No, I wasn't done! <sighs> oh my god. There's a fake Freddy there. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it's it'll bad. be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend. Oh, We're that's tracking funny. down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we <laughs> found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, boo. But, you know, like I said, and make people go, eh. Good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings said it was like an extra room that got boarded up. Or uh, something like that. So we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> So in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. What do I do? There, there's no explanation for what I'm supposed to do! Uh... Uh... What? What? Uh, I don't like this. I really don't. Hello? Uh... So am I... B b balloon boy? What the fuck is that? Oh, that might be helpful. Call him away. <laughs> That's kinda cool. Okay. Uh, don't do that too much. I really don't like that. Go away. Oh my god. Hello, fan. How you doing? What do I do? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's weird. Hi. Hi. Oh, to seal event, double clip the vent cam button. What? Well, that was quick. What the fuck? First night is always fast. WASD, here we go. I'm Freddy. Something just dropped off a of Bonnie's ear. I didn't get any of these for two. 
<laughs> rats everywhere. Step on a rat. <laughs> Follow purple Freddy. What is that? Follow me. Error, error, error. I can't. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. What? Uh, what? Uh, uh, gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle, slash climb into, slash climb out of, mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. <laughs> First we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd-pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, enter and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Hell no! Make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear's pizza. It me. Error. Still error? How many ventilations do I have to do? What? Didn't I... Didn't I just do this? No. Okay. Oh, I really don't like this, guys. Oh, hell no. All of the hell no. <sighs> oh my god. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm seeing shit apparently. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? I don't even know what I saw there. That was. Okay. Alright. I don't know any of the mechanics of this game. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Oh my god. Hello. Jesus Christ. Okay. 4 a.m. Holy shit. 
I get super tense in the shoulders when that shit happens. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm really apologizing. It's not that big of a deal, is it? Something was in there. <laughs> Make them stay the fuck away from me, please. I think that I think that'll call them away. <laughs> oh god. Five AM. Still good on ventilation, I suppose. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look like the stars from Mangle's room? Something like that. Oh, oh it's people. Little little people paper things. Yay! Yay! Holy shit. Like I don't even know what to expect yet. All I got is the Atari games and and Balloon Boy. Okay, so I am Bunny. Something's dripping. Purple Freddy. Following you. God, it's really weird. We got the Atari, but we got the real audio and oh, Freddy. Following you, error. No. Still kick. He's just mangling the shit out of everybody. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper sleep handling techniques. When using an animatronic as it is, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try uh -uh. not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layouts program in the animatronics or security system. This what? room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's- God damn it! Keep blinking. <laughs> oh, God! Shh. What the hell? <sighs> game over. It's only game over when the bunny gets ya. Okay, um. <sighs> twitchy, twitchy bastard. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna cut it here. Um, I'll continue on night three on the next one. And I'll try and figure out how to actually defeat it, because I really, I don't know. I know nothing. Thank you very much for joining me. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that other fun stuff. Laugh at my pain, because, oh. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Check out the annotations of other videos that I've done, and my freckly face is out of here! Bye, Paul. Find a box, 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 find a faster. I'm gonna get jumped. I just, I'm gonna get jumped. Ah! I got jumped. Over here. Let's, let's get. No! Ah, why can't I do anything? No! Of course.
Let's better. Let's just push the button and die. All right, let's wake up again.